Dating after the Me Too movement. Uh oh. I am curious for guys that were gentlemen that were historically chivalrous. Oh god. Has that has the Me Too movement impacted the way you date, the way you treat girls while dating? Yes. Um, equality while dating. Um, I feel like there's less guys that are open to or wanting to be chivalrous or gentlemen, maybe because they've had gals say, I don't need you to open my door. I don't need you to buy me flowers. Thank you, Miley Cyrus. I'm sure she says you're welcome. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't really ever have this problem. Never really have had this problem just based on the caliber of women that I, I try to put myself around. I usually ask questions. I observe body movements or body language and behaviors from afar. Uh, I usually read between the lines when somebody's saying something or something that they don't say. If I'm looking at a dating profile and I'm looking at the pictures that somebody decides to post, really how much makeup they have on, what kind of piercings they have, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, might listen to their voice and how they talk, their cadence. I can usually after like a conversation or two or some video chatting, quickly analyze where this person is going and what they're trying to do. Maybe not down to a T or everything be accurate, but enough for me to feel comfortable and say, mm, I'm not taking you home to meet my mom or my dad. Nobody. You're not going to meet anybody. You're not going to meet me. Uh, next thing that you're going to meet is a blockade. Uh, lose my number unmatch me and we're going to move forward right and i find that if you go into dating with a strategy yeah you're probably not going to have a lot of matches but it's going to be less headache even if it's like a, a an extremely attractive girl and man i just wanted to do it for fun and stuff like that i get that but i'm the type of person where i don't like coming out the house to waste my time and so i usually never run into women like this uh because i know what type of time they're on based on the way they're talking I can do that on my own. How has this impacted dating? How has this movement impacted the way guys approach girls? I personally think it sucks um, because equality in dating is not a thing when you're dating a gentleman or you're dating a chivalrous man. Once that came and guys have gotten burned by girls that want equality, um, it's made it really tough, I would imagine. Maybe this is me thinking out loud and making assumptions that aren't accurate, but guys, let me hear it. Is this fact? Is this not happening? Has this changed the way you date or approach dating? Misguided equality too, because you get the, uh, some of these women out here and they'll be rah, 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 equality, and I'm not stepping back and I'm not taking it. And they move themselves out of the way of somebody who is actually good because that person if he's like a uh, what you want to whatever you want to call a high value man, he's going to sit back and be like, oh, OK, and you'll never hear from again, hear from him again, because he knows how silly some of these women out here can act. I'm not going to put up a fight fight. I'm not going to go crazy and do all that stuff. I'm just going to, oh, OK, I'm going to pay for dinner and that's going to be it. You never go. Oh, I thought we had such a good time. And yeah, I had a great time. But, you know, I don't think that we're going in the same direction. So I appreciate it. And I wish you the best of luck. Would love to hear um, your experiences. I just feel like for men, it's just like, they feel like, I, I'm not a man, so I can't completely speak mm -hmm. on it. But talking to men, I feel, like men feel like they love, Chris, this is Chris Rock's fault, because he's the one who said this. Only women and children are loved with um, unconditionally, but men are loved under the pretense that they provide something. I feel like I if that is what you... If, if that's what you if that's what you lead with then yes that expectation is going to be there 100%. i think like i think i say that mm. because it's like okay if i met somebody right like i'm sitting in the park or whatever and somebody came and said man's perfected a, a man is usually expected to provide regardless of what he leads with if you're not providing in any course any way or action then you're a bum to most people so we vibe we just talking like oh hi you know you just meet somebody i just hit it off yeah, like yeah. yo like this is so cool like yeah. let's exchange numbers then i get home and we're texting and now i numbers. find out that you live at home with your mom as a woman mm -hmm. oh he lives at home with his mom oh my god he has a kid a mm -hmm. oh my god like he um he he works at i'm not gonna say a job i don't want to get a scrub he works at this like minimum wage no, job no. And it's just like i don't know if i could deal with that right now. i, I don't want no scrub home. 
like yeah, we kicked, like we 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 hit it off when we the first met. The vibe was great, but these some are the women, circumstances. Are, so these other circumstances were just like ah, I don't know, like maybe we could be friends. But, then but that's not like, that's how women do. Love I'm not, thing. But it, it will never get there. Is my thing. It won't get there because women look at men and be like, oh no, this is too much for me. As opposed to a man, like. I f with her vibe. Like, she mad cool. Like, I'm going to see where it goes. I see what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? You, she's mm -hmm. saying, like... No, I get it. It'll never get to like unconditional because women even, be like, mm, no, yeah, I'm not doing they it. they won't even get the chance to love somebody. Yeah, you'll never get for the chance. For them. Women don't even let... They don't even see, like, past that. So, like, a man will see... If you ain't fine, if you ain't fine, if you don't look good, uh, uh, let me know what y'all think. Uh, there's some... There's some people I would hang out with. They don't necessarily look good because we cool. And I guess that's the the argument that she's making. I might give you a chance because you cool and we just vibing and we just friends. But uh, for a man to be in a relationship with a woman, even platonically, you're going to have to bring something to the table. A man might not expect nothing. Well, because uh, they know they say the thing where, where yeah, if a man is in a friendship with you, then he's usually trying to hit. So I, I I don't know. I guess there's a condition to that as well. A woman and be like, that right now. F you're like, I'm gonna still f with her. Yeah, and they'll be vibing for six, seven, eight months, and then whatever. Like, how might change? Now he was able to see that a woman will never get to see a man's potential and his growth because they cut it off right then and there. Mm. Oh, I don't. I want to be serious for a minute. I had someone tell me the other day that um, I deserve to be with someone good looking. No, you and don't. And my take on that is I have dated men that are absolutely gorgeous. I've dated guys that were bodybuilders, everything like that. And most of the time, they wind up being douchebags mm. or they don't want to commit or something. And I don't look for someone because of their looks. I mean, I'm not saying that like, you know, when I walk in somewhere, I look for the ugliest guy in the place and go. I think a lot of modern women today are looking at only a couple of things in a man, except uh, instead of the totality of what a man is. There's a lot of people take, for instance, if you're looking for jobs, they want to go straight for the big companies. They pay the most. They pay top dollar. They have the best benefits. You can get this, this, this. But the biggest thing is probably name recognition and people will put them at a certain status. Oh, you're really smart because you work over here or you're doing this. But that might not necessarily be the same. It might not be a good thing because in a few months you might be gone off that job because they're doing mass layoffs. Right. Whereas you might get with a smaller company or a mid-sized company that might be paying just as much much or close you're getting more experience or you're wearing a lot of hats and you're looking at the totality i don't have to work my behind off i don't have to to stress myself out working for this company just for status or how other people see me and i think that's how a lot of modern women view men these days unfortunately is oh this is the top one everybody seems to want to go for the top one so automatically, mindlessly, that's what I want. Oh, oh, well, he's ugly, but I bet he has a great personality and will treat me good. I don't think like that. But if I am talking to a person and we wind up having a lot in common and things like that, looks don't bother me. Now, I may not be with someone because of their hygiene mm -hmm. that, you know, but as far as <laughs> looks goes, it Wash doesn't your behind. bother me at all. Wash your behind. I mean, you know, it's 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 how you treat me. And if I find someone that may not be cute to other people's standards, you know, I don't give a crap. Like, I don't care. He's absolutely gorgeous in my eyes because he treats me good. So, you know, yeah, I deserve somebody good looking. What good is looking that in on the seat? inside. Because to me, that's all that matters. Remember I told y'all I had one more talk of stage in me, one more relationship, and that was it. I think I'm through. I think I'm through. I can't even get to the to the fuck talk of stage because everybody not looking for nothing serious, not looking for a relationship, not looking for a girlfriend. What you looking for, a homeboy? You look like a fun time. Just right off the bat, just the way you present yourself, not even trying to be mean or rude or callous or rough or harsh. You look like a fun time. Like... I'm not about to take you home to my mom. That's what I see right off the bat when I look at you. You out here to play around. Maybe that's Oh, no, no, no. They're looking for somebody they can just suck and fuck. 
and have no obligations and no commitment to which I don't know who the fuck looking for because I give all types of wife over here. I'm tired. I'm tired. of. In my opinion, once again, <laughs> no, you don't. I would not. Please don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Personally, the way you present yourself, I would not even think about. It wouldn't even be a glint. It wouldn't even be a thought in my mind of bringing this home to my parents. Not at all. Wouldn't even wouldn't even show them at all. Just, you know what I'm saying? Having a good time with somebody and they kicking them out of my house because I don't do sleepovers and movie ins. That's one thing. I'm Fantastic. trying to, you know what I'm saying? Cook Fantastic. breakfast for somebody. Ask somebody how they like their eggs. I want somebody to be asking me what I'm cooking for dinner tonight and tell me they coming for a plate. I'm trying to go out and know everybody know I got a plus one because they know I go everywhere with my men. It's giving why? What's wrong? What's wrong? can the men just come to the check and y'all come talk to me for a second? Like what is it? It can't be the goals. I got goals too. Yo, you need to learn how to delegate your feelings and compartmentalize what the fuck is going on. Y'all need to learn priorities. Learn how to communicate. You gotta hang with a bitch a day. I just be here's my thing. I really would like to know. Like so, y'all get get into the comments. Y'all let me know. But I just I it's an epidemic. It's an epidemic. What they say? It's an epidemic. I can get divorced. It's an epidemic of these men not wanting to be the man in the relationship. Do you understand what I'm saying? They do want to get there, but that's that's clear. We got that covered. Y'all want y'all want to hunch, but y'all don't want to do anything else, which is, for me is very confusing because Why? they'll be like, "Oh, I don't want a relationship." Why is it confusing? If you present yourself in a certain way, just like the way that you tell men, if you present yourself in a certain way then people are going to see you in a certain way and assume that this is what we can use you for. Unfortunately, if I come up to a woman, not even bad hygiene, but holes all in my, my stuff and sweatpants. If I walk up to the date like that is like this dude ain't ready to do nothing. I mean, he might be able to protect and provide, but he can't even protect his clothes. He can't even provide for himself. How he going to provide for me? Well, what is that? That might be the same vibe that you're giving off to some of the men that you really want to be with. Some of the men that are looking to settle down. And when they see that, they be like, uh, maybe not. She needs some work. We'll put that on the back burner. Shit. But I mean, we could we could chill and watch movies and stuff and hang out and go out to dinner and things like that. But like, I don't want a relationship. What the fuck's a relationship to y'all? Because for me, if all we doing is sucking and fucking, don't ask me how my day was. You call me when you want some. I'm going to call you when, when it's vice versa. I know how to have a sneaky link. I know how to have a friend with benefits. There you go. But I don't want one right now. There you go. And that's why you're not coming home. That's why you're not. That's that. That's it right there. I know how to have a sneaky link. I know. That's what I'm saying. You're giving off a vibe of I know how to have a good time. I know how to be out here reckless, wilding. Just not really doing a whole bunch to indicate that I'm ready to settle down. I want to have a little bit more fun. To me, that's the vibe that you're giving off. Even though you say this is what I'm ready for, how you present yourself, in my opinion, is I'm not really ready to settle down. I'm I'm ready to cuddle and do all of the things in my mind that I think that I want. Like you, I'm ready to make somebody breakfast. You want to play? That's not all there is to a relationship. That's that's not even going to be your main focus unless you make it that unless you make it a big deal but it is going to be building together that's what you need to be focused on i want um i want somebody to come and let's join together and we build something together can we work on our goals together babe because when we're in a marriage we still need to be able to flow individually together and I'm in Atlanta. That's I, I forgot to leave that as the context. Mm. I'm just I'm having issues. I'm having issues. Just bear with me, y'all. Just bear. Just please, just bear with me. I I hear you. Like I said, I didn't said everything that I need to say. It's great that you have goals. You probably do. You look like somebody that might. But once again, it's probably your presentation. Uh, maybe I'm tripping. But for me personally, it wouldn't even be a thought in my mind whether I'm going to take someone that presents themselves like this to the house that's about all i have to say about that wish you luck hope you find somebody and uh yeah until the next video i'm out